Mr. Abel says that with the new planning act and framework of service delivery and the implementation, donor countries must strongly take note of policies and ensure to implement projects in consultation with the government. It's an evolving process. We continue to say to our partners, uh, understand that uh, we have our own goals and aspirations and uh, we are trying to incorporate sustainable development goals and uh, international, some of the international uh, requirements, but we have our own homegrown policies. And these policies through our New Dion government very much focused on the rural level. The minister says at times a chunk of the funding is used up with consultants, travel and other technicalities involved, and services are not fully realized as planned. We want as much as possible to translate into tangible outcomes for people in the village level. I don't want the funds being consumed by too much technical assistance. I don't want the funds being consumed by too much awareness. I want water projects. I want to see running water and taps in the villages of Papua New Guinea. That's what I want to see. And I want to see the majority of the funds uh, spent as such. I don't want endless designing, endless meetings, endless monitoring and flying all over the country, endless TA contracts. I want to see my people getting services in the village. That's what these programs are meant to be all about. On that note, he has thanked the European Union for the assistance given over the last 40 years and says the 11th European Development Fund worth 570.4 million will benefit thousands of Papua New Guineans in the remote areas. Kevin Daunga, NBC National News.